Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. Well, we've come to the second to the last reading. Leo is going to be last, so... And I've completely lost track of who I've read. Scorpio, it's time for your reading. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. September 2020. If it resonates with you, well, okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay, too. Check your moon rising and Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here. Scorpio, September 2020. Okay. What's going on with you? What's going on with them? Potential obstacle, possible resolution. Why are you here, Scorpio? The devil in the reverse. You're disconnecting from something. You're kicking off some cement shoes. You're expelling some toxic energy from your life. Or you're no longer dealing with a Capricorn. Take it however resonates. Awesome. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Seven of Wands. Could be a fire sign. It could be a little bit of a control freak. Could be. They could be very much in charge of things, or they could be battling some inner demons. Again, however resonates for you. What do you think of them? The world in the reverse. They got some unfinished business. Possibly some unfinished business with you. Possibly some unfinished business elsewhere. There's something they haven't completed. Hmm. Okay, what do you want from them? Four of Wands. You want the door to open. You want stability. You want the foundation for a beautiful connection. Cool. Okay. Well, how do they feel about you? Knight of Pentacles. Oh. Perhaps they feel like there might be some potential for abundance here. Slow moving abundance, but abundance nonetheless. What do they think of you? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Maybe they're thinking commitment. Possibly. Okay. Could be. I'll throw a clarifier on in a second. What do they want from you? King of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Hmm. We're definitely going to throw a clarifier on that. What's the possible obstacle? Eight of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. A return. Someone returning to something elsewhere. Somebody possibly wanting to return to this. I mean, it did start off with you're kicking off some cement shoes. Hmm. Uh possibly an old connection returning. Maybe it's those cement shoes you were trying to kick off. Okay. Possible resolution. Empress in the reverse. Okay, Scorpio, this is probably good clarity. And I'm a little tired. I'm just trying to make it to Leo. Scorpio. My dear friends, the Scorpios. Universe, can
can I get some clarity for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2020? What do we have on this table before us? Why is the seven of wands here? Nine of wands. Battling some inner demons, possibly have some walls up. Three of Swords, possibly dealing with some heartbreak issues, maybe. Queen of Cups, the probably an extremely emotional person, maybe. They have some water in their chart somewhere, along with some air and some fire. Maybe they take things to heart easily. Nine of Pentacles reversed, possibly a little bit needy of a person, maybe. I mean, these can all be inner demons, right? Why is the world reversed here? Four of Wands, that leads to the next card. Unfinished business elsewhere. A door got left open. Three of Wands in the reverse. Maybe just they just walked away from the dock because they got sick of waiting. As you see, I got an unfinished cycle, an open door, and a return. Hmm. Maybe the person you're dealing with is kicking off some cement shoes, huh? Hmm. Why is this four of wands here for what Scorpio wants from the other person in this connection? You want to talk. <laughs> Ten of wands. You want the 11-11. You want the connection. You want the stability. You want doors to open for your connection. You want them to release some burdens. Get some things off the chest. Get some weight off. Maybe some cement shoes. It's one of my favorite phrases. I'm sorry. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Perhaps they're a bit aloof. Maybe they're working a lot. Always aren't so forthcoming with what they're doing when. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Two of Cups. Patience with the connection. You could be the one that needs to have patience with the connection. Hmm. Allow it to fruit. Okay. Why is the Knight of Pentacles up here? 
This one's reversed. Huh. I wonder if they're connected. We'll see in a second. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for how the other person feels? How about Scorpio? I'm not taking 20 cards. No. How many is here? Five. I'm not taking 20 cards. I'm going to take the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to put the rest back because the Ace of Pentacles showed itself to me. Slow moving energy. A seed's been planted, the seed of abundance that grows into the ten. Why not? The world. Hmm. Something's complete. The circle is complete, perhaps. Maybe they feel like they can finally close out a chapter in their life and start a new one, maybe? Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Again, I'm not taking 20 cards. I'm going to take the one on the top and put the rest back. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. They're thinking commitment. They're thinking catch. They're thinking that's the one. Hmm. All right, one more on that. Ten of Pentacles reverse. No. Money troubles, maybe? There's always a catch, isn't there? Definitely. There's definitely the feels. Six of Cups. That's old soulmate energy. This could be someone you've known for a minute. Okay. Be someone you have happy memories with, the hermit. Definitely a lot of going inside and really thinking hard about this. Right on. Right on. Why is the queen of or the king of swords reversed here? For what the other person wants from Scorpio? Four of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Swords upright. They want the truth. Oh, the two the two of swords reversed is here too. Oh, okay. Difficult decisions need to be made. Things need to be let go of and released. Truths need to be spoken. One more. Page of Pentacles reversed. Emotional. They may want you to stop being so logical only with your heart. Possibly. Take that if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here for the potential obstacle in this connection? K 
King of Pentacles. Always about the Pentacles. It's the Pentacles, the Pentacles, the Pentacles. She's a catch, but I don't know. He, she, you know, whatever. There's money issues. There's money issues. The potential's there for wonder, wondrous abundance, but there's money issues. We got a lot of great memories together, but there's money issues. They're great, but so is that person. That one coming back, or potentially coming back, might just be a little bit better. They got a leg up. Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it all of a sudden. <clears throat> Why has it always got to be a competition? I don't get it. Page of Wands popped out. Forward movement. Walking the path, trucking along. All of a sudden there's a return and something or someone throws a wrench in it. Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Someone has a deep emotion. Somebody might not be ready to commit with this Knight of Cups. Okay, what is the potential solution? Why is the Empress reversed here? Eight of Swords reversed. King of Wands, Four of Swords reversed. I'm hearing live in the moment. I think these cement shoes may be insecurities. Super weird. Okay. This Emperor's reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, Four of Swords reversed, and the King of Wands. I mean, that is like, you know what? Just do it. Just live in the moment. Just jump. Send in the troops. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Don't get all wrapped up in the what ifs or the what if nots. Just do it. One more on that just to make sure I'm right. Two of Pentacles. The beginnings of something abundant. Okay. It's that fine balance between planning and impulsivity. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, let's get some advice for our Scorpio friends real quick. Four of Pentacles, Reverse, Three of Pentacles in the Upright. Sometimes you just have to let go of those insecurities and those what-ifs. And stack them up and build a foundation towards something. Two, three, four. Just keep building up and stacking up those pentacles. Letting go. Four of cups in the upright, the hermit.
I love this Four of Cups in this deck. You know why? Because he's looking up the cup. He's contemplating whether he's going to take it. He's not looking down at the... And these cups aren't even spilt. They're just kind of set off to the side. You don't know if they're empty or full. But he's looking up at that cup. So this is telling me, make sure that the cup is what you want. Think about it. Don't overthink it, but think about it a little bit. Go inside, contemplate. I mean, it's better than just do it. Mm. Oh, this is sound advice. Ten of Pentacles of the Reverse and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Mm. Don't bet the farm. Mm. Be careful what you gamble with this. That's a whole hell of a lot better than just do it. I'm, I'm liking the, the advice of these cards better than I'm liking the spread advice. Find that healthy balance between being impulsive, being spontaneous. Temperance in the reverse, Five of Cups in the reverse. Until you come out of the state of sadness and start recognizing the two full cups, you're not going to have good energy flow with anybody. So, yeah. If there's a pair of cement shoes that need to be kicked off, kick them off. Absolutely. Absolutely. Eight of cups in the reverse, two of wands in the reverse. There was something said around here, somewhere in this spread, so I'm not sure who this is for, but I'm going to say it anyway. There was something around here about unfinished business and doors being left open. If you wait around too long and leave the door open too long for the wrong person to come back in, the right person is going to walk right by. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? If you don't let go of that wand of the past and move forward, and the one who's supposed to walk through the door is going to walk right on by. Because you're still holding on to a wand. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me right now. Let me know. Thanks for coming by, Scorpio. I appreciate you guys. My next door neighbors of the Zodiac. My dear friends. My Venus placement. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. I'll catch you guys in a couple of weeks for your October reading. Be blessed, brothers and sisters.